Oh, look at that. Smooth as a baby's butt. Not mine. Hey, y'all. Welcome to Stafford's Homestead. I'm Zach. I'm Jen. And today is pickled egg day. Yay! So, uh, Jen made this the other day. Well, I guess about three weeks ago. Yeah, now, it was, right? yeah about a month ago. Wow. Right. Well, anyways, we just ate them all up. Um, we, we ate one live on our live. And all of you all were like, we've got to know that recipe because it's unlike a regular yeah, pickled egg. Yeah, it's not like your regular pickled egg that you buy at the store. Right. It's different and it lasts longer. It can last up to six months, maybe in a year in your fridge. So that's awesome. Yeah, and these things are addictive. So good. The best thing I can compare it to is the Chijuana Mama yeah. that you get at the gas station. You know, that guilty pleasure yeah, that really- not good for you. That's yeah, <laughs> and then you like take one by you're like, ugh. Yeah. Well, this gets rid of that ugh filling after you eat it and you're like this is absolutely fantastic yeah. so it is time to get at it. Let's do it but the first thing you gotta do hard boil your eggs hard boil your eggs so we have fresh eggs obviously we have our own little easter eggs uh that we don't have to paint this year right. <laughs> <laughs> but we i uh, did a hard boiled 24 which i think turned out to 23 because one busted um, the best advice I can give you for hard boiling fresh eggs, like if you have your own chickens or if you buy eggs from a neighbor who has their own chickens, is put about a teaspoon of salt into your eggs when you boil them. Put the eggs in the pot, cover them with water, at least two inches coverage. Bring it to a rolling boil and then turn it off, put the lid on with that salt in there and then let them sit. You let them sit for 10 minutes with the top on and then you put them into cold, cold water. And then I usually let mine sit for a little bit, a few minutes. I usually get busy doing something else. And then you come back and you try your best to peel them and not destroy them. <laughs> yeah, so fingers crossed, right? Yeah. All right, let's get on peeling. No, 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 Why? <laughs> Why can't I do the egg? No. <laughs> so I just get to sit here? <laughs> apparently, I'm <not> very, <laughs> apparently I'm not very good at peeling eggs. No, no. <laughs> it's a very delicate process, and Zach is not delicate. <laughs> Bull in the china shop, right? I'm telling you what, there is one thing that can ruin your day, or at least mine. Y'all may be more patient than I am. But this process can go one or two ways. I can start destroying the egg because the shells aren't coming off, <laughs> and it will literally ruin my night. And it determines how the rest of the day goes. But if they do well, which they're doing so far, then it's a whole different story. I mean, we're going to be here all night doing 24 eggs. Y'all going to see this video in a month. <laughs> Let me do one. Watch. We'll do, it, we'll, do, we'll do it on film. This me we'll doing try. one egg here. Let's see how I do. I'm already did it wrong. I tell y'all though, the salt is the trick. You got to put the salt in there before it boils. And then the cold water. It's going better than last time. Last time it ruined my day. <laughs> and it was early when she did. It was. <laughs> I made that mistake. <laughs> it's so worth it though. My goodness. They're so good. Yeah. I'm gonna get, you're not getting the membrane. I'm going to get the membrane. Just calm down now. And that's also another thing about fresh eggs. There's a membrane. And if you can break that membrane, and take it with you while you peel, it changes the whole process. But if you don't break that membrane and you're fighting with it the whole time, then they're gonna come out terrible. So this is what I do. I don't intentionally try to break the membrane because eventually it will break itself. Is it leaves in my pot? Sometimes. See, it's like right there. <laughs> so if I try to force break it. Mine are going well. So is mine. They're fine over here. That's beautiful. Good. Good. So far, two down, 22 to go. <laughs> that first egg sets the mood. <laughs> I'm really nervous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Beautiful. See, I'm moving really slow and trying to be all tender about it because I'm scared I'm going to get yelled at. <laughs> <laughs> the first time I did deviled eggs for Easter with our fresh eggs, I had no clue what I was getting myself into. And I swore I would never do it again because it was such a traumatizing experience. I think I peeled the eggs for like four hours that day. Uh oh. And I had everything else to cook. What? Nothing. 
You can remember the more you mess up, the less chicken egg you get. <laughs> Hopefully, I got your hard one here for you. I think that's what it was. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, you son of a gun. Oh it's God. okay. No We're okay. For you. It's okay. <laughs> Everything's fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Perfect. <sighs> Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Try to get it to focus in. Oh, look at that. Smooth as a baby's butt. Not mine. Mine is not smooth as a baby's butt. Why did you not? But I did one. Should I just eat this one now or? No. Still pickling it? <laughs> Good. All right. We are not going to make you sit through 24 eggs of me butchering them because I think this is the only one I get to do. So we'll see y'all in a month. <laughs> Okay, we got everything peeled. She got everything peeled. I did the one and failed miserably. So right now she is getting all of the ingredients ready and we'll go over exactly how to perfect the most perfect pickled egg. Pickled egg. Pickled egg. <laughs> okay, so I'm doing two dozen eggs. So I'm using a half gallon jar. If you're just doing a dozen, you can use a regular quart size jar. Um, so we're gonna make our brine first. Our eggs are hard boiled. They're just sitting and waiting. I rinsed them, so they're good to go. So we're gonna make our brine and we're gonna heat it until it's hot. We're not gonna boil it, just heat it until it's hot. So we're gonna do four cups of apple cider vinegar. I feel like this is a staple you should have in your kitchen. I talk about it so many times, but ACB. You, just, you need it on hand. And we're actually running low, so that's not good. <laughs> I stocked no, up on it. Here but we've used it for so much stuff. So, I mean, it's fire cider, it's everything. We use it for chicken water, everybody's water. Um, so yeah, it's a staple you should have in your kitchen. So we're gonna do four cups of that and we're gonna put it in our pot. And then we're gonna put in one cup of water. So it's just regular water. And we're gonna do half a cup of canning and pickling salt. So we're gonna put that in and then we're gonna turn it on and let it get hot. Again, not to a boil just hot. So we're gonna whisk it together and let it heat up. Okay, so while our brine is heating up, we're gonna go ahead and put the stuff in the jar that hasn't have, doesn't have to be heated in the brine. So we're gonna do two cloves of garlic. We're just gonna put them straight in the jar. We're going to do about a half a teaspoon of turmeric that wasn't a full half, so I'm just gonna sprinkle that's all I got left. So running out of things here. <laughs> and a half a teaspoon of cayenne or chili powder. So I don't have cayenne. Again, another thing that we ran out of that I didn't think to stock up on. We're growing it this year though. We are. Who decided to put the camera so low? <laughs> where we had to talk like this to everybody. I did all right. it. it was me, I did it. <laughs> and a half a teaspoon of, I'm using chili powder, but you can use cayenne or chili powder, whatever you have on hand. It's just for a little bit of heat. And then Good. we're gonna wait on the rest of our brine to get hot and pour it in. Yeah. Still interesting. Just, I mean, like, that's like nothing. Your brine is amazing. It's just your seasonings. I understand it's still very few recipe or ingredients. Yeah. None of me. Yeah. You picking up what I'm putting down? I am. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna put our eggs straight in the jar. So I think it ended up being 23. And it's okay if they're not perfect and have little blemishes, but you don't want them to be like completely torn apart because um, they just won't set well. So try to make them as pretty as possible. Use the tricks and all will be good. I've done this before and they all turned out terrible and I just ended up putting them in the fridge and eating them and not pickling them. So, let's see. There you go. Now we'll wait on our brine. I'll tell you one thing. With these, you're going to stare at them every single day in the fridge and be like, I want to eat one. Wow. I want to eat one so bad. But you've got to resist as long as you can. You have to because... I mean, you can try it if you want to, but it ain't gonna be any good. Yeah, it ain't gonna be near <laughs> as good. Be terrible. It's gonna soak into yeah. that egg, and the longer it soaks into it, the better 
and it is absolutely fantastic. I promise you, those pink beet colored eggs that are pickled, you will never go back to them after you try this because it is so absolutely fantastic. And this is the fun stuff that uh, you all should definitely be experimenting in and trying different things. Uh, fermenting, pickling, all that good stuff. Uh, definitely be doing some of that things because, you know, it takes a while. It, it takes, you know, three weeks, four weeks, two weeks, whatever it is to actually get to try to enjoy it because you got to let it simmer for a while. Um, so definitely be uh, trying your hand at different things like this. So yeah. this pickled eggs is one of them. Uh, sauerkraut's a good one. Did, did you do a video on sauerkraut? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. We did do a video on sauerkraut. Try out your hand at sauerkraut. Uh, start pickling other things. You can't, you know, not just eggs. Um, if you like this flavor, I mean, I would assume you could probably use that same brine on different things. Green yeah. beans, uh, banana peppers. It's all that kind of different stuff because it's all about the same brine. It's just all about how long it needs to sit kind of thing. So yeah. it's, uh, it's fun stuff to do and it's quite the treat. And especially if you're anything like us and you have all of those eggs coming in because spring's picking up, this is another good way to preserve them. So that, you know, you just try different things with eggs so that you're not doing the same thing every day because you can't get burnt out on them. Yep. Even if they are a really good essential to have. Right. You and, can still get burnt out. And with no one wanting to leave your house, if you're anything like us, we're, we can't even, we can barely give them away. Right. So you got to try different things out uh, to use them, uh, which you can water glass them and uh, Jared did a video on that as well. Uh, but you can water glass them and preserve them. But it's fun to use eggs in different ways. I kept telling her an egg's like a peanut. You know, there's how many ways to use a peanut? That's the same thing with an egg. There's so many things. Turn into Forrest Gump and uh, Bubba over here talking about shrimp. That's the same thing with eggs. And different ways that you can do with those. So really exciting. Brian's almost ready. I'm done talking. Okay, so the brine got hot and we mixed it all together and now we're gonna pour it into our eggs. We're using a funnel to try to reduce the mess. That's not happening. <laughs> Good. Okay, stop. Oh. <laughs> We've got it all in. We've got our lid on. You don't wanna use a regular metal band because of the apple cider vinegar. It just doesn't react well. So if you can use a plastic band or a ferment lid, something along those lines, or you can put a coffee filter or a cheesecloth in between your metal band if that's all you have. Um, so we got that on and we're gonna shake it up now. Make sure all those spices get in. Beautiful. Uh, the color really changed. Yep. Beautiful. Look at that. It's hot. Look at that. So pretty. So now, actually I'm going to put a little bit more on top. I had some left over because some of the eggs aren't covered up. But now you're going to put it into the fridge and you're going to let it set for that two weeks. Don't try them early. They will not be good. Um, let them sit for the full two weeks and then try them. And then you can leave them in your fridge for six months to a year, but I promise you won't because they're so good that you'll eat them up very quickly. And if you love them, then just keep having a batch on hand, kind of like you do with fire cider and elderberry syrup. And yeah, it's really, really good. Yummy. I wish I had one to show you, but unfortunately we ate them all, so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we can say a little couple words or we can say bye. Um, we hope you enjoyed Jen's amazing non beet colored pickled eggs. Yeah. That might be the title of this video. Yeah. Non beet colored pickled eggs. <laughs> so um, they seriously are absolutely fantastic. And uh, I think the only thing that we didn't say was to just uh, like, uh, at least myself, because the seasoning settle in the bottom of the jar. Yeah. So about every day, just turn it over. Turn it back down. You don't have to shake it. Yeah. Just turn it over, turn it back down, just to get it stirred back up again. Um, that way, all the eggs are getting all the flavors. Yummy. Yeah, Yummy. and it's. I promise I you, even if you have like a. I don't know the right word. If you have a stigma about pickled eggs, if you hated them when you were little, try this because yeah. they're so good. It's different, and I promise you will love it. We've made everybody try them, and not one person has said that they don't like them. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. If you like a hard boiled egg, this just yeah. takes it to the next absolute level yep. that you didn't know that even existed. <laughs> <laughs>
the more milk than this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we have given a lot we of have, milk. We have, we have given a lot of milk, which we have got to go do right now yeah. because oh, we're, we're oh, dairy God. farmers nowadays yeah. and we've got to go <laughs> milk the goat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. You all tell them, or tell them what you want to say? Bye. Bye. <laughs> and we love y'all. Until the next one. Bye. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe <laughs> button. You got to remember. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.